Writing the mail, MSX games from Japan. Collecting without fail those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little pick up and play video. Um, it's related to uh, a video earlier this month on uh, some Coleco tiles. There's one more from the same seller, one they auctioned rather than uh, buy it now. Um, I've just already opened the box here. And it's actually included a um, CD of classic video game commercials on the ColecoVision. They're obviously a ColecoVision fan. Now, so this is an auction, and I believe I was the only bidder. So I got it from my opening bidder. They had a minimum set, though, so I didn't get this for dollars. But it's a game I have never played this on the Coleco. Not even tried the ROM on my Mega Flash. Once again, wrapped really well as the last lot he sent me. Also, I noticed when I was packing up after the last one of these that he's actually wrapped it in the inside of uh, computer magazines. That might make some people cry. Um, I can't actually tell you what magazine it is, actually. Because it doesn't say on the bottom. Computer and video games. So an old computer and video games um, pretty wrecked anyway, so... That's alright. <clears throat> and it is, as I said, I've never seen the cover of this one before, I've never played it. Um, very excited of having it added to the Coleco collection, and it is Star Trek, and I from it's in a box protector too, so um, in really good condition. Um, sorry, the <coughs> reflection of the box protector is really hurting out there. Um, very, very pleased to get this one. Protectors protect the box, but they make it harder to get out. Right. There. Sorry for that reflection. What a wonderful cover. I would have definitely bought this back in the day if I had had it available. The box isn't perfect, but it's not too bad. It's even semi resealed itself, or is it sealed? Okay, this is a sealed copy. So can't stay that way, so I'm going to unseal it. It wasn't completely sealed anyway. So that'll make some people cry. It doesn't matter, I want to play the game. So there's the cartridge, which as you can see is in brand new condition. And we have our manual. Uh, no overlays. Quite a lot of games didn't come with overlays. I'll probably have to read the manual to figure out how to play the game, because I've never played it before. It looks very good. I mean, this could very well have been resealed too, because it's just, it's, um, because the box isn't perfect for a start, and it looks like that actually sticks down again a bit anyway. So, very pleased to get that one. So, next we can give it, I'll, I will actually read the manual, because it's more a technical game and we'll give it a really nice, good, solid gameplay. Let's go do that now. All right, so here we go, Star Trek. I've got out my Super Accuracy controller. I've only got one. Um, and I've never played this game before, so I'm willing to give it a go. Uh, one player. We've better go for skill level one. Entering sector one, all right. Oh dear. 
I didn't last very long, did I? So obviously the fighting section is down the bottom, and you've got your overview up the top. Um, obviously there's more controls for shields and things. Uh, let's start, do another repeat of game. Okay. <sighs> let's try again. So the top yellow button was fire. very far on this unless I actually read these instructions for once. I'll try one more time without reading the instructions and um, then we might seek assistance. So I wonder what the green thing is. Is that a star base or something? I don't know. Or a star? Lost my shield already. Oh god. Oh dear. Alright. Hang here for a second. I'll go get the instructions. Right, we're back. Um definitely one. I hope all the buttons on my controller actually work. Because my purple one is a little indented. Thrust forward. Don't they? Yeah, see, warp wing doesn't seem to work. Oh, come on, give me a chance. I used to love playing the um, uh, Star Trek games on the computer. They weren't as action orientated, of course, they were like turn based. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the normal Coleco controller in there. And we'll see if we do any better here because I reckon my warp, uh, the button I need to use for warp, is compromised. Okay. destroy that I've done it again
obviously need a lot more practice. I quite like the game though, so um, I shall be playing it some more. So that's probably enough of you guys watching me play very badly. <laughs> but a very interesting game. Never played this one at all in my life. Never saw it on a shelf back in the day. Uh, didn't actually even know it came out for the Coleco until reasonably recently. Um, so very nice to find uh, a nice copy to go into my collection like that. And a completely new game for the Coleco. That's a new old one. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Oh, my God.